Uh, this spring, I've seen a lot. I've seen some good things, some bad things, some stuff in between, but uh, good effort, you know. So, uh, really young group. When you're talking about, you know, Pierre's missed most of spring with his injury, and then David, you know, with his surgery in the offseason. So, uh, when you look out there, we got five guys working for most of spring. So, uh, they're getting gas pretty soon, and, and Indy's a challenge, but uh, a lot of good work. So, boy, I tell you, Tommy, it's. Uh, Consistency. You know, I could go back last week with a young group, and it's, you know, we're not playing with great pad level. We're not shooting our hands where we're supposed to. We're not taking steps off the ball. We're not rolling our hips. Those are the things I'm looking for to be done on a consistent basis, which we're not right now. Some's to be expected uh, with, you know, some of the youth. But they, and it's like last year. We were young last year. We don't have time to be young. Nobody cares how young we are, so we just got to get better. Yeah, it's been um, – if going back to August through probably uh, you know the hiring of new staff, it was been, it's been a crazy eight nine months of my life for a lot of reasons. You know, for professionally and personally with Kurt, and uh, and then professionally with with the season and, and some of the things that happened at my position group. So it's been uh, frustrating, anxious to get back on the field this spring. It's been good to get back out there and get to work. And that's all. That's all we can do is hey, get out there and try to get better. Uh, we got who we got, uh, and there's no free agency. So we got to get better. You know, you lose two guys that, uh, you know, two plus guys that you were expecting back on the roster who played uh, the majority of your snaps at your, your two inside positions. So what it does is, that, you know, you're, you're uh, not only are you green, you're, you're, you're young and green, if that makes sense. You know, they're having to play year ahead. You know, you don't want to play a redshirt freshman. You don't want to play Cuz last year, but you did. Um, you know, it just heightens the urgency. It just uh, makes every day that much more important in the summer program. And, we just can't waste a day, really, Bobby. It's just it's going to be a, a lot of urgency between now and August. He'll come back health-wise fine. I don't anticipate. I think you know, it was a clean repair. The anchors were good. I think they're really happy with where the rehab is right now. And so I, I, I don't think physically it's going to hold him up at all. He'll be cleared early in the summer. He'll have all summer to rehab and lift and get on the sled and do all the things he needs to do on his own. What I don't like about it, you know, is the second spring he's missed. And, uh, you know, it's his first time playing inside. Uh, it's different. He needed as many getting hit in the face as many times as he can. And I mean that just, you know, just, it's just pounding. It's, it's that's, that's always when you move guys inside, their first reaction is, ooh, it's noisy in here. And they just need to get you know, more noise and more noise. And I thought when he was healthy last year, he was kind of making progress. Then he, he got hurt with that shoulder. And, and Rodney, they both played, you know, halfway healthy last year. I thought at times he flashed. And we just needed that as many reps as we could with David. The redshirt freshman, I've seen some, a lot, uh, like I said earlier, and I, I think Robbie Garcia, for a guy that I wouldn't say putting him through a bunch of agility drills, he's your most flashy guy. I think he's got real good ball get off. He can jump the ball, which is important up front for what we do. Uh, he's got loose hips. You know, what he doesn't have, he doesn't have a lot of strength. So he doesn't knock people back. He doesn't roll his hips. He catches blocks, which you could probably do back at Jesuit High School and, and survive when you're playing plant in Armwood, but you can't do it out here. So he's got to come out of his hips. Uh, but I do see that he's got a lot of football knowledge. You know, he reminds me of Cricky that. He understands leverage and he kind of understands, you know, natural counters. So I'm really excited about what he's going to develop into. It just ha can't happen fast enough. My expectation here on April, whatever it is, you know, 9th, whatever the day is, I'm not sure, what is it, 11th, 12th, what is it? Nine. Okay, I was close. I was right. <laughs> they they got to come in and, and contribute right away. I mean, we didn't bring them in here for any other reason. So between Trent, Ianni, uh, uh, Dale, all three of them, Gabe, they got to come and contribute right away. And when we recruited them, we thought they might go inside for a speed package kind of deal, Jet. But now you look at some of the losses and health and youth, you know, maybe one of those guys has got to go look at playing inside. We'll see when they get here. Uh, certainly, you know, it looks like that needs to be a part of the thought process. But they got to come in and play right now, man. I, I talked to Ianni last week. I said, I hope you just got out of the squat rack. I hope, you know, I hope you're doing everything you can possibly do and not wasting a day because when you get here, man, you've got to be able to help us.